something that I've wanted to do since I came to Japan because it's such a weird thing. Today I want to walk around and just look at the love hotels. We're in Shinjuku right now which probably has a lot of love hotels. I don't know what we're gonna find. I know they have themed ones. We're just gonna check them out. Maybe we'll go in and I'll show you guys what it looks like. We're gonna keep this very PG. Let's just go explore Shinjuku and go explore the love hotel scene. Okay, let's go. Heading into the place here where a lot of the love hotels are clustered, I guess. They have love hotels in every city, really, in Tokyo. Love hotels can be traced back to the 17th century. They originated from places that were supposedly tea houses, but had secret entries and exits. Because of lack of privacy and small housing, love hotels became very popular in Japan. Romance. By 1961, yeah. there was 2,700 love hotels in just central Tokyo. Let's see what love hotels are like nowadays. So we're at our first love hotel, or one that I saw online anyways. It's called Bali Island, and it's like a, I guess it's a Bali themed love hotel. I don't think I could afford to go into this one, but the outside's cool, so I just kind of show you it. It's not really common to book a love hotel online, because it is a very spontaneous ordeal. So we went to the streets to look at them for ourselves. So it's actually not that bad. It's, six, it's around $65 for a rest and 100 some for a stay. These are what the rooms look like. Not that cool. If you walk around Shinjuku at night, and make your way kind of towards the red light district, there is so many host clubs and love hotels. It becomes very busy on the weekends. Probably not the best time to go. This is what it's going to be like. Oh, wow. Yeah, it'll take Well, this one's cheap, so that's why. You need to take a story. That's fucking dope. The first few we visited were nearly all booked full. Okay, so we just went into one, and I feel like a lot of them are going to be booked, so I don't know if we'll be able to go into one to show you what they look like, but we'll try. Um, this one was cheap, so it was all full. But this lighting is really cool, right? Oh, I've made it go too fast. <laughs> oh no. Look, all the rooms are taken. I want to show off of the video. Okay, let's go find it nice. <laughs> uh, no, There's one down here, right here. And she's like, Room Why? 203. So I went to a uh, psych psychiatric. I'm oh. that. Oh. She's crazy. Nampa, you just go out for the sole purpose. I'm trying to pick up girls. I'm trying to pick up girls. So to Nampa means to basically pick up girls, and a lot of Japanese guys go out and do this as this guy in the brown shirt is attempting to do. Three girls, there you go. Yep, there he is. Go for anyone, even one with a face mask. No, didn't give him the time of day. <laughs> this man's gonna die. This guy's just gonna die. He's like, uh, whoops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> always, always amazes me, like, who's fucking, like, like look at the people. <laughs> we wanna fuck, we don't know where to go. <laughs> that one was too expensive for our budget. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm not trying to get people on camera that are trying to. Oh. Oh, they have popcorn. This love hotel was sweets based and they also had costumes. It's all about sugar and candy and cake. It actually looked pretty fun. Okay, so we're not having much luck right now. Why would you go here? Business hotel? <laughs> so that one was kind of like a sweets type of. I don't know, they had some costumes. It was like weird, everything was so random. Again. We need to go okay. somewhere new. So we need to go somewhere new. We need to find, this is a mission now. We are on a mission. Because this is kind of fun. It's on a circuit, where should we go? A big difference between normal hotels and love hotels is that the receptionist will be hidden. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, why are you here? It wouldn't be a guy there usually. <laughs> this is just a normal Bali hotel, this isn't a love hotel. Like, hey, you come to a reasonable establishment. And we're just like, we want Whoa. a sleazy fucking love hotel, man. <laughs> so where's the sleaze here? Yeah. <laughs> Found another one. I almost got hit by a, a, a speeding truck. This, is this the red light district? 
We're in the red light district, by the way. I didn't mention that, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to go into this one. This one. Whoa. They have Wi Fi. Is this a door? Whoa. <gasps> we should go in. They've got a little sex thing on the end. Look. They have another one up here. That one's not as cool. Most of them were all booked, but stay tuned because we do eventually find a really cool one. It doesn't look that cool, but it's kind of cool. Because time was of the essence and we still hadn't found a cool love hotel, we split up to increase our chances of maybe finding something. We went through a lot of love hotels, just looking to see if they have anything available. Love mode? No, we've not. This is like 80s and themed. Which one's the door? <laughs> What's this? This is the smoke room. <laughs> that one smells like smoke and it's 80s themed, it feels like. Oh, this is terrible. We're going to use my hands. It's not good at all. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the? This is like a kind of joke. It smells weird in here anyways. I thought you were going to have it now. We don't like that one because there's not automatic doors. <laughs> we, are, we are going in circles right now. This is... <sighs> I'm hungry. <laughs> you should change that to... I'm autistic. <laughs> Okay, stop that. Let's go down here. This looks more lighty. You've just been down here. Then let's go down there. Well, I don't you know big that winger. Is. It looks like we've not been down there. <laughs> These are all full, so make sure you don't come on a weekend. I went into that one, and she's like, some missing. And I'm like, why are you calling me out like that? <laughs> you hide, your face and shut the yeah, hide your face and shut the fuck up. <laughs> what did you say next? Nothing. I ran out. <laughs> These pictures are not selling me at all. The smell is also not selling me. So there's a lot of places in Japan where you're actually just allowed to smoke in the rooms. It's kind of gross. I don't know if you guys are smokers out there. Whatever, it's gross. So um, they're working late into the night. This is like 10 o'clock. We made our way all the way to Koreatown in Shinjuku. <laughs> That one has a microwave. It's kind of hot. Oh, on the hotel forum. <laughs> Isn't it weird? It's so creepy. <laughs> okay, so this is a different day. We didn't have any luck the other night, so we're gonna try again. Today is a Monday night, so maybe it won't be as packed. And we found the one that we wanna go into. And we're gonna see if they have any rooms that look cool enough to film in. Okay, so all the rooms there were just really, really boring. And I can't bring myself to take you guys into one of those boring rooms. So we're gonna walk to another one that has, I think, cooler rooms on the inside. <laughs> we came to this one. It's called Hotel the Hotel. Very creative. But again, they didn't have any rooms available for us. Okay, yes, this is the third day of us trying to find a cool enough love hotel to go into. It's more in during the day on a Tuesday, so fingers crossed. Like, I know if you guys watch my videos, you know I'm really bad at organization and planning, and I fail a lot. It's a very weird location. What's S&M? Say the I wanted to show you guys one of the most intense love hotels, I think, in Tokyo. It's an S&M love hotel. After three days of searching, I was just ready to pay the fee and look inside a love hotel, finally. We have two hours in here. I'm just gonna show you guys around. It smells awful. It smells weird. It smells like it looks, by the way. It smells very like, um, what's in here? Oh, toilet. Very old. It's very old style. <laughs> we had options this time, and we decided to go with the medical room. 
This one was actually creeping me out a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not into this type of stuff at all. And um, this is all for video purposes, so I don't want this to get demonetized. So I'm gonna try to be as PG as possible. All of this just to show you guys kind of the concept of this. I had no idea. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, but look what I found. I don't think you're allowed to do that. No, you are. Look at this. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> really? That's actually the. <laughs> that's actually the best part. Hold on. The best feature of this that we found is that go ahead demonstrate. You can hang on these little pegs and I'm it's not it's totally like sturdy. So we're at this hotel actually just for video purposes because I wanted to show you guys the inside of a very themed love hotel and it was very hard to find this as you saw my struggle getting here. I'll show you my favorite part first. They give you organic everything, face wash, cleansing liquid, makeup cream, all of this stuff you can have for free. This is for men, I guess. So those are all for men, but and then you get a free comb. Get a, there's a free hairband in here. Toothbrush, razor, what is this? For a sponge for shampooing your body. So many free things. That's my favorite. That's actually my favorite part. And then I'll show you the little bathroom area first. It's kind of the, the least impressive place. Of so you get this little area. What is this? What is this thing? You have that, and then you have this tub, which I feel like I, oh, more free stuff. This body soap, body soap, shampoo, shampoo, and rinse. Let's rinse. What is he doing out there? <laughs> Should we go see Dr. Dr. Masked Man? The Masked Doctor? He left me day for a little while. What do you think was going to happen? What's happening to me? Are you my doctor? Yes. I need to check your... What's, temperature? What's non-sexual? Temperature. Your temperature. Okay. Yes. I need to check your temperature. Right. Hi, doctor. Hello. I just need my temperature. Take a seat. Where's the stethoscope? I don't right. think this is necessary to you check my... Your legs there. Do they not have a stethoscope here? Where's the stethoscope? I can't. I can't seem to find one. <laughs> Can so I see allowed, license? Are we allowed to show this stuff? Or I don't what? know actually. They have instruments, let's just say. I don't want to show it on camera. They have instruments here you sure? that you're allowed to use. I'll show it from afar, but not up close. Um, in there they have My doctor's cabinet. a doctor's cabinet. And then they also have stuff on the walls. Woo! Uh, to hang up laundry. And then this is the bed area, which is non impressive as well. There are mirrors. <laughs> and then there's the kind of sallow fridge. As you can see, it's sallowing the color. And you're allowed to get, uh, you're allowed to have these, but you have to pay for them. I don't know when they built this place, but they didn't, they never updated it. I'm sure of that. Can I hit you with that? Go on. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. In order to keep this as PG as possible, I'm going to show you the things I can show you, which is the costumes they provided. And this is us trying to awkwardly take a thumbnail for this glorious video. How do you turn this light on? So I think our light is broken, which sucks because this is really good doctor light. 
Let's yeah. electrocute you. Please take me to the hospital. It's kind I'll of just do whatever you want. <laughs> I'll just, you know, improvise. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Victoria. Why are you wearing bed. socks? I feel like I should put in a hairband. That is the basics of this. I don't think there's really anything else to show that's PG enough. It feels like I'm at the gynecologist. <laughs> Scary. He's a healing house. Oh yeah, you're a healing doctor. Uh -huh. What would you guys do if you saw if this was your doctor? Lights kind of like. Don't worry, ma'am. What do I have? Everything under the sun. I'm gonna take care of it all. How? Where's I your stuff? instruments. Okay, so we took some pictures, we filmed some stuff. Um, we have to leave now because we don't want to get overcharged. So I'm going to just snatch all the free stuff. Because I paid too much to not take all the free stuff. It's free, right? You can just take it. So I'm taking all of this. <laughs> also, like we put in contacts to take pictures. And, um, yeah, so that was this love hotel. Most love hotels are not like this one. They're not all themed. I will see you outside. Time really flew by in the love hotel because you only get two hours. Don't see this as some sort of like pervy thing. It's more of just exploring things that are unique to Japan. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was, it took a lot, three different days to try and find one, but we finally found one. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I do adventure content. We always go on different adventures together. The next adventure is going to be really, really cool. So stay tuned for where I'm going next. I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial and I will see you in the next video. Okay.